Hi there, this is Brandon with Bulldog Rooter. Uh, I'm doing a video inspection on the main sewer line for 2922 West Gardner Avenue here in Spokane, Washington. Uh, what we're looking at right now is going to be the uh, main sewer line uh, that's out in the street out in Gardner. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull back a little bit here and I'm going to start to explain some of the things that are going on with this pipe. Uh, so right here you have your sewer hub or your sewer connection. Uh, what we're going to be going into is going to be 4 inch clay tile pipe. Uh, it looks like this was inspected in 1929. Uh, you can see right there a little bit of root intrusion. Uh, kind of what happens with uh, clay clay pipe uh, was laid in 2 to 5 foot sections. Uh, as you can see we have a seam uh, kind of right there. This one looks like it is separated a little bit kind of to the right hand side of your screen there and uh, that's what they do. They separate over time, uh, you know, with the ground moving and stuff like that, uh, going from winter to summer and all that, the ground softens and hardens and it just kind of moves around a little bit, giving a perfect opportunity for roots to get in the line. Uh, this line specifically had uh, lots of roots in it. It didn't look like it had been uh, maintained in quite some time. And uh, I'm going to kind of pull back and um, show you guys what I mean. So like I said, those separations, they can kind of stair step to the either side or up or down. Uh, when they stair step down, it's not as big of a issue just because, you know, water gets through. When they stair step up is when we have an issue and water starts to catch. So that seam looks, looks fairly normal. Maybe a little separation to the right hand side of your screen actually looks like it might even stair step down. It does stair step down a little bit. See how my camera kind of makes a little dip when we go over the the uh, seam there. Uh, perspective wise it looks like the bottom of the pipe is in the uh, left hand side of the screen. You can always tell uh, by where uh, either water is running or where the light of the camera is. So we're at about 85 feet uh, is where the main sewer is for Spokane out in Gardner. We're at about 75 right here and uh, it looks like we have another uh, separation right there. Uh, it also looks like this one stair steps down, as it does. You can see there are a little bit of roots in there. A uh, little bit of, looks like roots that may have fell off the end of my cable. doesn't look like they're attached to anything. This right here is a good seam. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really separate much. Maybe a little bit, but it doesn't separate uh, too much. And you can kind of see by there's not too many roots coming in right there. More. And right here is where we find our main issue. We're at about 71 feet here, and as you can see, it is just caked with roots in this area. Um, can't really see the seams too much. Most of these roots are just hanging on by a thread. Uh, I did go in with our normal 2 inch cutter bit and uh, put my camera through it and decided it needed a little bit bigger one. So I put a 3 inch blade through this. Uh, it's about the max that we want to go. Uh, just because, you know, putting a 4 inch blade into a 4 inch line, uh, if you have any turns, it could cause quite the problem. So that's that's their main spot right there. That's the main issue. Uh, we're at, that's about 71 feet. Um, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go talk to the homeowner and see if I can't stay here a little longer and clean that up a little bit better. And right there, it looks like a couple root balls that are just barely hanging on. The seam actually looks pretty cleaned up. And then, like I said, when you run some water and we get those other roots cleared out of there, um, you know, <coughs> excuse me, those little root balls that are just kind of hanging in the bottom of the pipe will wash out. Right about 66 feet right here. Looks like some, some more roots hanging on there. About 63 definitely have some roots that are hanging on there as well. We got 60 feet, lots and lots and lots more roots, and there's another very large root intrusion at about 60. You can kind of see I just kind of barreled my way in here with my camera. Um, yep, 90 feet, some more roots, 58 roots. Yeah, their roof line, as you can see, was definitely, um, didn't get maintenance uh, like it should have. This is kind of where the roots start to kind of die off, it looks like, maybe a little bit. Ooh, Lord.
kind of a bigger, a little bit bigger root intrusion there. You can kind of see the swirl marks from my cable at the top of the pipe and all around. Kind of right about 40 feet now. Like I said, this part of the pipe works. just look really good. You know, most of the seams are intact. There's not too many of them really separated all that much. Uh, that one might be a little bit. That one does separate a little bit, but not too bad. Um, if I had it my way, and if our jetter wasn't uh, having mechanical issues right now, I would definitely want to get out and jet this out. But we don't have that option today, so I might have to stay here a little bit longer and uh, open the pipe up the, uh, the cable way. So pulling back, we're at about 25 feet now. As you can see, everything looks to be really intact. They don't seem to be like stress fractures or cracking anywhere. Uh, most of the seams uh, through, you know, about 50 feet and back are just, you know, normal, normal uh, clay tile pipe. Coming up at about 10 feet here, we should be coming out of the clean out shortly. we are working out of in the basement. Uh, again, that address was 2922 West Gardner Avenue here in Spokane, Washington, and I am Brandon Redler. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Reader.